I'm 11 years old. And uh, where are you living now? I'm living in Corvallis, Oregon. What's your address? My address is 390 Northwest Maxine Avenue. Uh, where did you, you just start at school? Where, where are you going to school? I'm going to Shuttleland Middle School. And uh, how long have you been in school? Here in Oregon? How long have I been going to school there? For about three weeks. And uh, tell me about your first day in school. Well, I was late. People can hear me talking. They have to say, my first day of school. I was late. My on my first day of school, I was late, just a little. Tell me about it. Well, um, I walked to school, and I got there. And I, everybody else was seated and already ready. Yeah. And that's it. Well, tell me, tell me, start from the beginning, what happened there? And then we got in, and um, she talked to us that we were going to do a study about Mexico. And so... So, Miss Guffy, Mrs. Guffy. What's she like? She's nice. Tell me about her. Well, what does she look like? She looks like Miss, uh, mix between Miss Nelson, my old music teacher, and Valerie Harper. She she's a movie star on TV. Does everybody like her? Yeah. Uh, now, what did she tell you guys? Did she school or anything? Well, see, there in the morning, there are these morning announcements that they welcome us or they have announcements, you know, over the loudspeaker. And sometimes they call people if they need to go to the office. And so... Did she tell you about those? Hmm? She told you about those? Yeah, she told us about the morning announcements. And that was social studies. And then we got to put everything that we had in the, our lockers. And then we started on some autobiographies. <clears throat> we got to choose where we wanted to sit, so we moved around our desks. Where did you sit? I sat in the back of the room with my friend Rochelle and David Watson from fourth and I mean from fifth grade, and then from Eric Nemi from fourth and fifth grade. Uh huh. Have you moved since then? Yes, um, I've moved towards the front of the room on the left side. Okay. Well, because she told us where we were supposed to sit, so she just moved me towards the front. So you got a you have a sign seating now? Well, yeah, but then next time we get to choose wherever we want to sit. Next time. Well, when when we want when it's time to change the desks around, when you know when she says we're gonna have a change, we just move all our desks around and wherever we want to. Well, what do you think about the other kids going there? I mean, the seventh and eighth graders. They're okay. Who? The seventh and eighth graders. Are they a lot different than you expected? Well, no, they're pretty much the same because. I always thought that they'd be really snobby, and they are. Some of them are. But I I have a friend, Emily, and she's there. She's Emily Fuller. She was Corey's, Corey's, Emily's brother was Corey's friend. And also, there's Jason I met. I met Jason. He's a friend of mine now. And how old is he? He's a seventh grader. Are you as tall as they are? Yeah, I'm taller than Jason, and I'm about as tall as Emily. Okay, talk about the old periods of school. Well, for a second period, I have reading, and then there's break time after reading. And then after break, there's language arts, and for those two subjects, I have Mr. Schultz. <clears throat> What's he like? 
he's really nice. He's just like Mr. Hart, which he, Mr. Hart and him, or he knows Mr. Hart, and they're really funny and everything like that. And I went, I went in there, and he had this huge, I mean, there's this huge kind of like jackhammer thingy, you know, one of those wooden hammers, and he carried it over his shoulder, and he, and he looked around, and whoever didn't have his homework, he'd get really mad and bonk him on the head. And then he goes, somebody's looking into our room, and he goes out there with the hammer, you know. It was really funny. He's really humorous. And then, then there's P.E., and I have P.E. with Mr. Gable. And ye um, yesterday, which was Friday, we had to run, I ran four miles and a quarter uh, on the track. How many times you ran? That's four times and a quarter. And and I was totally exhausted. And and my back was killing me. And that was it. So now tell me a little bit of who the other teachers talking. Oh well, then there's lunch. Then we go to lunch. There you have a choice between sandwich bar, snack bar, salad bar. And then they have choices of hot lunch as like pizza and fish sticks and junk like that. You know, there's four different selections. Who do you sit with? Um, Heather and some other kids. Like, um, I sit with people like Angela, Angela Champion, Julie Clark, and that's about all. Okay, uh, after lunch. Well, after lunch is, um, we have a little bit of a break, and then I go to math, which I have Mrs. Freeze, and she's really nice. Then, um, Mrs. Freeze, she's, she's about my height, which is about five one and a quarter, but she's a little bit taller, I think, and she does math. I mean, she she's, she goes pretty slow, so we understand it and not really rush it through it. And then after math, it's exploratory, exploring arts. And, and for my exploring arts, I either have industrial arts with Mr. Perriard. Right now we're making keychains out of plastic. And, or I have Mr. Janes for my band teacher, and I play the flute. How do you know Mr. Janes? Janes. Mr. James, he's he's funny too, and he plays all kinds of instruments. I mean, mostly he plays the tuba, the trombone, and the trumpet. What, what do you mean he's funny? Can you describe something? Well, see, when we're loud, you know, he kind of goes, when I'm here, you go, you know, and he makes these little hand signals, and he's really funny. And, you know, he sometimes he's really serious when, when we're acting up. Well, no, he doesn't get mad. He he kind of gets upset because we won't be quiet. And he goes, and sometimes, you know, when we're telling him something, he goes, I'm the teacher. I'm supposed to be teaching, not you. And he goes, okay. Who's the rowdiest in there? Uh, Spencer. Really? Uh-huh. He and his trumpet. No, no, his trombone. And then I have Miss Guffey for science. I have Miss Guffey again. And, uh, how about your industrial arts teacher? Mr. Perriard? Mr. Perriard, he's a really serious man. And he's really good at art. I mean, making these things. He's an expert. No wonder he's teaching it. Uh, how about your shop teacher? He is. Oh, tell me what you made the other day. Well, we're making these keychains out out of two pieces of two thick pieces of plastic. Put them together, and there's this kind of glue substance that is colored in blue, green, or you know, red or orange. And then you put them together, and you let them dry for about two days, no, a day. And then you cut them into the shape you want, which is really neat. 